I feel like you guys are going to get a lot of shit after this movie for being making so many decisions that people are like, I can't believe they did that. Um, when your character has to do that once, much less repeatedly, like how tough is it for you as an actor to give yourself over and go, all right, I know it's been the 45th time that my sister has thrown me against a wall or messed me up or whatever, but I'm this time I'm sure she will be. It's really just because she's upset or she's overdosing or something yeah. like that. I, well, I feel like I, I feel pretty justified throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. I feel pretty justified. The end where I bury, am I allowed to talk? Is, are you going to put this stuff up before talk, or after? It'll go up probably the week of, so try to be, I guess, diplomatic a little bit. Okay. So. It, the end of the movie, sure. there's a decision that I make that, that might possibly be strange. Uh, a lot, but, a lot of ones. yeah, but, 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 um, but I think, you know, why not shoot for the stars? Everybody yeah. else is dead. Mm -hmm. Might as well that's try to. That's what makes these movies so enjoyable, though. Is like that's what it, the, I mean. The characters do make stupid decisions, but if they didn't, then you wouldn't have a movie. Then the audience wouldn't be like, "Hey, why are you doing? Yeah. Why are you doing that?" You wouldn't keep them involved. Like that's the whole interest in horror films. Is like, why are they doing that? Yeah. In fun ones, anyway. Sure, sure. Well, in sort of a post. <laughs> uh, no, in, in, a, in a sort of a post uh, cabin in the woods world where you have a movie that really kind of like dissected every genre trope. Um, I guess how tough is it to come into, I mean, you guys made this movie, I'm sure, before that movie even came out, but um, looking at this movie coming out as sort of after that, um, is there any concern about the fact that audiences now have sort of looked at, like, the end game of, of sort of the genre in a way? No. No, the story is always going to be awesome. It's just scary. Mm -hmm. Like, Cabin in the Woods wasn't scary at all. It was just sure. dissecting something, like an analysis of, you know, let's satirically look at it. But it's not really anything to do with this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, it's, that's like making fun of the cliche, and this is completely being sincere about it. Sure, uh -huh. sure. Um, are each of you uh, an Evil Dead or Evil Dead 2 person, would you say? One? You prefer the sort of horror to the horror comedy. I I yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, for me, it's like I like dramas. Like I don't, you know, horror films are hard to watch. Bruce Campbell is an amazing human being, so it's fun to watch mm -hmm. him do his thing in the later movies. But the first one's just like they they work so hard to make it scary, and you can just like blood, sweat, and tears are going into that. And that's sort of like I mean, it was just it's so in line with what we did that I think that that's what, why it holds a special place in my heart. What about for you guys, Evil Dead. Two wouldn't exist without one. Like it wouldn't be as funny if one didn't mean not to be funny. So I I really love them both. But I started loving two. Like that I thought that was the most genius thing because Bruce Campbell's just so damn funny. Yeah. But now I love one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I haven't seen them. Oh Still wow. Seen them. Yeah. Well now you have something to look forward to. <laughs> What's yours? Uh, oh, Evil Dead Two. It's my favorite horror yeah. movie of all time. Yeah. Um, Ultimately, when you guys watch this, what, what's the scariest moment in the movie, or the scariest thing, whether it happens to your character or you, or something that happened in the movie, the thing that, like, maybe you were there on the day watching it get filmed, and you're like, holy shit, that was 50 times scarier than I could have even possibly imagined. <laughs> My, I mean, I, I was not there to see them do their bathroom uh, ballet act, and that was, <laughs> this, that was freaky. That was scary. She was yeah. insane. I, I thought she, like, that whole scene that she did where she, the mirror breaks and she jumps, you know what I mean? Like, it was sincere in that moment, and then it got freaky with her thing, and uh, that was great. And then Lou smashing her face in was a beautiful acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, yeah, wait, go no, for go it. for it. <laughs> oh, shit. oh wait, wait. Okay, I got yeah. one because we haven't talked about it yet. So when Shiloh's duct taping my chest from her stabbing me and with the mirror piece, and I was looking down at it, I had this fake chest on, and it had blood pumping through this open gash. So I would just look down at this thing that was pumping blood out of it, and it honestly scared the shit out of me because I mean, when you look at your body and there's something coming out of it, you're like. Ah, 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 ah. You can't stop making it feel like it's as real or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would avoid mirrors on the day. That's pretty I had scary. Cosmetic mm -hmm. on my chest. It's gnarly.